Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have been waiting so long to film this video. I'm actually filming this on Monday and it needs to go up tomorrow, but I've been anticipating filming this video for months. And this is going to be the intro to the graveyard project pan that I don't want to take full credit for, but I came up with like an original idea and prompts for a project pan and I invited a whole bunch of my friends here on YouTube and Instagram to join me and since the original proposition if you will it has grown and expanded so that more people can join more people can participate so we've kind of like co-created it and I'm just really excited to be doing this with a whole bunch of my friends. As of today, we have 21 people participating, but if you want to join us, feel free. I will have the details down in the description box below. There will be a community playlist where I will be adding everybody else's videos as well as there are people on Instagram who are using the hashtag graveyard project pan so you can find all of their posts as well. I'm going to start off with kind of how this came about so the intro is going to be a little bit longer but I was looking through my drawers at products that I was working really hard on in previous projects such as my 18 and 2018 and how I was really sick of using them. I needed a break from them but I was still kind of disappointed that I didn't finish them and wanted to finish them at some stage, but when, who knows. So I came up with this idea of products that you didn't meet your goal on, so they're in your project graveyard, like that project's done, you're not using the products anymore, they're just kind of sitting to the side, and I needed a way to move through those products a little bit more. So that's where the first part of this project came from and when I proposed that idea to a lot of my friends a lot of people are saying I actually don't have a lot of products that fall into that category can we add something else onto that so we have added in products that are close to death um, or they're just sitting in your collection they're collecting cobwebs they're close to expiration or they're almost done the point of this is to just move through products in a timely manner so the duration of this project goes until Halloween, so October 31st. I thought that kind of fell in line with the spooky theme. We are only going to be updating every two months so that we didn't put a lot of pressure and trying to fit this in with all the other projects that we are doing this year. And these products are typically ones that we aren't necessarily going to see a lot of progress in one month because they're obviously harder to get through and that's why we didn't meet our goal on them to begin with. You got to choose if you wanted how many products you wanted between 5 and 10 and this will be a rolling project. And the categories, as I just kind of mentioned, is first we called it resurrection products. So those are the products that were in previous projects that you didn't meet your goal on. So they're going into this project and you're hoping to meet that goal. And then we have collecting cobwebs, which again, as I mentioned, are the products that are close to expiration and you just want to get them out of your collection. I think that's all the details I wanted to kind of tell you about and if you want to join definitely let me know if you're going to film a video. I will be searching through YouTube but it would make it easier on me if you uh, let me know that you wanted to join in and I'll definitely add you to the playlist and the spreadsheet which will be linked down in the description box. I personally chose to start with six items as this is my fifth project ongoing. And I'm feeling a little overwhelmed right now, but of course I came up with the idea for this project, so I didn't want to pass it up. So six products, I chose three resurrection products and three collecting cobwebs products to keep it even. But this project is going on for six months and my other projects, a few of them are ending within that time frame. So I'll have more products to choose from and maybe I can bump this up from six if I feel like I want to. 
I'm going to start with my three resurrection products. These three were all in my 18 and 2018 project pan, which was not very successful at all. That was my first attempt at a project pan and I've definitely learned a lot since then. So these are the three I want to start with. Two I think I can finish before the next update if I work really hard on them, which will be June 30th. And the other one, I'm a little nervous of putting this back in. I don't even know if I can hit my goal in six months, but out of the options I had for this category, um, this one would take the longest if I were to hit my goal on it within this project as well. So I'm putting it in at the beginning and giving myself the best chance. And I might as well start with that one. That is this Model Co. Blush in Peach Bellini. I worked on this all last year, although not as frequently as I should have, definitely. But I wore this multiple times a week. And there's no dip, there's no pan, nothing. This is an even more vibrant um, version of like NARS Orgasm. They're very similar. Peachy pink with gold shimmer in it. But like I said, this is very vibrant. And while I am already working on blushes, there's a swatch of it. Um, if I'm ever to hit pan on this, I'm definitely going to need the full six months to work on it. And I don't have any like vibrant blushes that I'm working on right now. So I think that this might be fun to add in. And I just want to see if I can hit, hit pan on a blush. I've never done that before. After working on this for a whole year, I definitely needed the break that these, what, four months have given me to step away from this product. But now I'm ready to like bear down and get a ton of use out of it. And I'm hoping I can hit pan on this before the end of this project. Next, I have the eyeshadow primer that just won't die. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And this is just a sample. And I'm not kidding, I used this almost every single day for a year. Yeah, I switched it up every once in a while. I swear to God, the louder I talk, the louder my computer gets. And it feels like it would be so close to being empty, but there's still product in here. Every time I think it's the last use, more comes out of here. I don't understand how it happens. Like, even as I'm squeezing now, there is definitely more product in here. I'm sure... I can finish this in two months before the next update and be able to roll in a new Resurrection product. I just want this out. I'm sick of looking at it. I love this primer, eyeshadow primer, but just having it open and using it so often, especially when I have so many other options in my drawers that need use too, this just needs to go. And the third Resurrection product I have is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind for dark circles. This is 60 brightener. It's way too pink for my skin tone, but I just, it's not cruelty free. It doesn't work for my skin tone. And I worked on it for so long that I don't want to just toss it and not be able to count it towards my empties. That sounds so stupid, but that literally is my only reason. I mean, I can use it. I can use it as a corrector and then apply my normal concealer on top of it. And that does help. But I'm sure you can even see here that it's just much too pink for my neutral warm skin tone. And it's really obvious when it's underneath the eyes that it just doesn't quite look right like along with the rest of my personal coloring. But I actually really do like the formula of this. So it's not that. It's just literally I chose the wrong color. This is a case of not knowing enough about makeup at the time, like this is really old, and having another YouTuber who is not the same skin tone as you recommend a certain shade and something and you're just going and buying it. There is uh, about an inch, maybe less than an inch, I should mark it, of this, but because it doesn't, it's not a great color for me, it's hard for me to use like a lot of it at a time, but I'm hoping by the next update, or at least definitely by the end of this project, by the finale, that should be gone. The next three products are from the Collecting Cobwebs category, which are products close to expiration. And I did feel the need to put in one skincare product in here just to 
move through my skincare collection as well, but I'm working on a lot of makeup right now. So this is my Bioderma, and I was realizing when I was looking at this that this expired in November of 2018. I've had this for years. My cellar waters are just not something I get a lot of use out of. I would repurchase this if Bioderma is cruelty free, I don't even know, but I would get a small version of it because I use it so infrequently. I don't like removing my makeup with something like this. I prefer a cleansing balm and then going in with a proper second cleanse, like a real cleanser. I use this if I have a little bit of mascara smudge in the morning um, to take off swatches. If I'm being super lazy, like really can't be bothered to do anything with my skincare, I'll use this. But I've had this around for years and I'm so far down to the bottom, I just want to finish it as opposed to throwing it out, even though it is expired. So this is where I am now. I, it's kind of hard to see my markings on here, but it's at pretty much the bottom of the label, a little bit lower than that. And I'm sure I can have this gone by the first update if I can just set it up on my counter and remind myself to use it. Next is a lip balm. I just finished a lip balm, a tinted lip balm in one of my other projects and I was looking at the others I had in my collection and I think this one was even older than the one I just used up. This is the Fresh Sugar Rosé Tinted Lip Balm. Fresh is not cruelty free so that is one reason. But the second reason is I have this much left. Why do I do this? Why do I keep things around? That is not very much lip balm at all. If I just set this out on my vanity and or even tossed it in my purse and used it for like, I don't know, a couple of weeks, it would be gone. I say a couple of weeks because I'm not going to not wear lipstick or liquid lipstick and use this instead, but with reapplication, because it is a tinted lip balm, like it would be so easy to use and this I've had for years, like years. It still smells like lemon meringue pie which is what I feel like the fresh um, lip treatments smell like so I don't think it's gone bad but there's so little left in here like let's just move through these products and the last product that I have in this project is my Too Faced Hangover RX primer now I don't know how well this is going to work with the timing of this project coming into summer because it is more hydrating I do have combo oily skin in the summer it's disgustingly oily so I'm a little worried about this, but I think I can maybe use this like as my moisturizer and then put makeup on top of it instead of using a moisturizer and then this and then go in with my makeup, if that makes sense, because it is hydrating. But I noticed that this says it has a six month shelf life because it does have probiotic based ingredients. And I've had this way longer than that. I've actually used like a decent amount of this. Like there's a lot of air in the tube. I'd say I used maybe half of it. This is a product that if I don't use it soon, it still smells fine. It is just going to go bad in my collection. And I don't want that because I actually do really enjoy this primer. It just because it doesn't work for me necessarily all year round, I find it hard to use. So if this even gets emptied to completion, it will definitely be a long-term product. These two I'm expecting will last the entirety of this project if I even meet my goal on them then. And honestly, these four, I'm going to really push hard and try and be able to roll in four new products by the first update because I really think that if I hunker down, I can finish all four of these. So those are the six products I am starting with in this graveyard project pan. I am so happy that people like joined in with me. I've never been one to like start something. I'm usually the one like trailing behind the bandwagon trying to jump on it like way later than everybody else which I just think is kind of funny, but everyone seems really excited about it. I hope everyone has fun. I'm going to try my best to be a good um, 
post and keep things in order and keep like updating the playlist and things like that but I'm looking forward to watching everybody else's videos and seeing their posts on Instagram it's going to be a ton of fun as I keep saying and now I'm just rambling because I don't want to end this video definitely check out all of the people that are linked in the Google spreadsheet I will have listed down below. I figured that's going to be easier than trying to list every single person in my description box. So I will have that so you can kind of pick and like, you know, shuffle through there and find new people that maybe you hadn't heard of before and follow them as well. And the playlist that you can just binge watch all of our intros at once if you want to. We're all trying to get our videos up around the same time, so hopefully you'll have a lot of content to watch if you so choose. I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you so much to everyone who joined and everyone who's watching. I'd love to chat with you in the comments, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!